lose the war. Alright guys, this is Tom and back to another Super Robot War 30 video here. And last time we got Ernie and Ikaruga to join us and uh, let's move forward. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, uh, well, that's only halfway. Yuma is also halfway, okay. Uh, nightly meeting. Uh, let's do these visitors first, as to see the Sakura and the other people. Is it this one? Yeah. So this is one of the DLC scenario. For our current mission, we have been tasked with uh, investigating the vaccine vicinity of uh, point 11.24 in the Pacific Ocean, the Black Ocean. The Black Ocean? What is that? Sorry, it isn't a normal, uh, it's not a formal name, it's more of a nickname in the service. There has been a tremendous number of DVDs so, or dimensional boundary distortions observed at the indicator location over the last 10 years. As a result, avoiding though, uh, that area is usually for the best uh, and in fact, uh, the EFF has generally forbidden entry into that airspace. And uh, they're sending us to investigate this place. Similar to what the souls just described, uh, over the last few days, uh, there's been even greater numbers increase in the number of DPDs occurring. Our mission is to investigate the situation on site. Uh, Captain, a DPD has just uh, occurred in the Black Ocean over Fern Island. Wasn't expecting we will run into a DPD this quickly. We must hurry. Order all hands to stand by. Yes, ma'am. But why do I feel so appreh apprehensive? Uh, what could be waiting for us there? Special scenario. Visitors. What in the world? I remember I was having tea with flower division girls in Tokyo. So why am I here in my kobu? In fact, uh, where am I? Did that strange black light uh, that engulfed uh, us across these? What is that? Uh, it's way bigger than spherical uh, armor. Is it attacking uh, me? Why? What's going on? Stop, please. I'm not hostile. Uh, so that's how it is. Uh, they don't care what I have to say. If they won't stop attacking, then I can't hold hold back either. Come on, villains. Uh, Ichiro Ogami, the captain of the Imperial Combat Review. The Flower Division will take you all on. You're gonna pay for your crimes with a beating. Five turns. I'm totally fine. What's going on? The scenery is getting warped. I recognize this sensation. This is the same as uh, when that black light washed over me in Tokyo. Ooh, vote V. What? Where are we? We were taking a break at the Big Falcon after wrapping up uh, our training, right? Yeah, so what, what are we doing here? Look, look, everyone. We have no data on that mobile weapon at all. 
Hello, first, uh, if it's engaged in the battle with that white machine. Maybe if we could ask one of them, uh, we could find out what's going on. I don't think that's priority one here. They just opened fire on us, uh, they didn't even say a thing. Inichi, from what I can tell, those machines are unmanned. Well, if they're attacking, we will just have to fight back. Holy mother of a, what a huge machine. I can hardly believe there's something like that exists. No, wait, it came from the Black Orber. Could it be something summoned from another world? Wait, then what about me? Am I... How come? Come on, everyone. Let's help out that white machine and figure out what's going on. Show these guys uh, the strength of Volt, Volt V. Well, we have five turns to do everything, I guess. Uh, that's not cool. I'll just come over here for now. Oh, nice dog. Wow, twice in a row. Turn four. Uh, I have two turns to go, huh? I'm surprised you have pretty agile. Out. Finally. Got hit. Looks like we have clean things up here. Again? This feeling. It's the same as what we saw at the Big Falcon. If we had gotten here a bit earlier, uh, sooner, we will have uh, done an on site uh, measurement of that dimensional boundary distortion. We have you got you have got to be kidding. We went out of our way as it stands there because it was an emergency. We can't do miracles. Our mission is supposed to just involve in transporting a mobile suit. True, we can't afford it to let the machine we are transporting suffer any damage. Transport ship please respond. 
This is Commander Mitsuba Great Valley of the Direct Cruiser, Earth Federation Independent Autonomous Corp. Please report the status of the DVD. Sorry, ma'am, we have we arrived after the DVD updated. So all we can provide are the measurements that we got from our instrument. It looks like the battle took place here. We don't have any information on that either. We will send you all the data we have. Understood. Thank you for your cooperation. Well then, if you will excuse me, uh, excuse us, uh, we will be on our way. Leon, can we get any data on the battle that seems to have happened here? Well, unfortunately, but there is obvious uh, uh, environmental signs that there was a fight here. There is no apparent wreckage uh, or any other remains uh, which makes the determining what happened. Mm, impossible. What? The wreckage is missing. It is what it is. We just have to accept it. The Black Ocean. What exactly is happening here? Okay, I I think I I think this is just way too short, so I'm just gonna keep going with this uh, video. Oh gosh, so many of them. Yeah, let's do this one first, I guess. Nightly meeting. I should have gone to Tokyo first. Hey, Eddie, Umi, Fu, and I are having a little tea party together this afternoon. Wanna join us? Uh, I would love to. I haven't done stuff like that uh, much before, so this is exciting. Well, it's not going to be anything formal, it's just uh, enjoy yourself and don't worry about the P's and Q's as they were. Oh, in that case, uh, could I invite Ernie too? We were kind of uh, envisioning a girls get together kind of thing. But Ernie is as cute as a girl. I think he counts as close enough, right? It's fine. I mean, brazen. At times so when it comes to quarterly ethic, but I certainly know better than to insert myself into a girls only affair. Okay, then we will cut the girls only rules so you and Eddie can join us together. If you are willing to do that on my behavior, then it will be my honor to join you. If we are going that route, then uh, you're welcome to join us too, if you wish, kid. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do at a tea party, though. Just make normal small talk and discuss our hobbies and, and things. The idea is to just to have a nice, relaxing time with friends. I can get on board with that, but if you're inviting the discussion of hobbies. Mm. That includes the new Soho Knight uh, I'm designing. The more we find it, print script uh, I'm writing and the shared traits of uh, Rune Gods and Soho Knight. Yes. I've been jotting down Sylvan Phoenix and Magic Knight's team of tactics. Uh, we could do some brainwash storming over those. Then again, no, we should start with something mature, uh, mutually beneficial. Efficient mana man management. You get the idea, that is the topic you might want to dodge. <laughs> no kidding! Your magic knights and silver finishes are pretty much as thick as uh, thieves. <laughs> yeah, we have been friends since our time in several. Let me guess, uh, it was uh, like the, this right from the beginning. Not quite at first. Well, uh huh. The way we first met is, uh, well, that's kind of a tea party story. What do you mean? Uh, we had a slight mis misunderstanding that escalated into full-scale combat. 
Hold on, you guys fought? It seems to be this story time, and then let's talk about how we first met. Special scenario, nightly meetings. Are you sure this is the right way, Makona? Boo, boo, boo. What's with this wood anyway? It's all muggy and dark and creepy and hard to walk in and... But we'll find a lead pertaining to Zagato if we keep following this path, right? And then we just gotta tough it out that there's been more and more strange things happening in several lately. That's true, we need to save Princess Emerald. Emerald. Soon before it gets worse. We got a Umi. The underbush over there just shift. Another one of Sagato's agents. Watch out, somebody's coming. Over here, Ernie. There's three of them. I can hear you without you yelling, kid. Oh, for goodness sake. Now, don't go rushing ahead alone. That's dangerous. Who are you? And uh, what are you doing here? There's no need to be worried of us. Uh, we are just observing people who come near this area. You're observing the forest? But you sound exactly like the sort of people we should be worried of. Hey, the same applies to you three. I'm not sure you have any room to talk uh, skulking about these woods like bandits. Oh, uh, that's it. Come on, let's cut the banter and uh, get this over with. We'll send you packing. If you want to fight, you will have one. I don't go easy on any enemies, not even ladies. We will see how long you keep talking tough. Water drink. A water magic user, huh? Fine, you are on. Flame strike. Oh no, Umi. Flame arrow. Hey, you are not gonna. We're not gonna lose. Riot sparrow. You gotta. Umi, get back, please. Winds of protection. They use a different style of magic than our uh, own. It's fascinating, really, but we will still win. Oh damn. Nice move there, you cancelled out my magic. You are pretty good yourself, in fact, uh, all of you are. Uh, Umi, hold on, I know I fired off a spell too, but using magic is uh, going overboard here. Yeah, kid, what's the big idea? Using magic against the girl? You did the same thing, Eddie. I was just uh, on the spur of the moment, okay? My body moved uh, visible, uh, reflexively, I guess. You got to Umi, let's try reasoning with them first. There's a chance we could all come to an understanding as uh, we did with Escott and Cartina. I'm with the young lady in glasses on that. I use magic to back hit and add it up, but I have no desire to harm any of you. Your courtesy is most appreciated. In that case, I would like to know exactly who you and your friends are. There's, and that's a perfectly reasonable thing to ask, but I, it's not something I can share freely without knowing who you are at first. Uh, um, sorry that we attacked first, but we had our reasons to be suspicious. That's not too convincing from people who throw magic at us uh, out of nowhere. Hey, you are the, uh, the ones who practically jumped out at us uh, in the wood. Uh, what were we supposed to do? Welcome dead uh, with open arms? Hey, all kid did was approach you. So much for reasoning with you people. If you still want to fight, I'm gonna go all out this time. Don't say I didn't warn you. Who is this little guy? Uh, it's so cute. Look at the cute little puffball. Well, that changed the mood real quick. Eddie, if you could remember the situation we in. Look, I like what I like. I like cute things, okay? Like Ernie and Ernie and Ernie. Okay, any tension left has definitely been squeezed out of the balloon at this time. Makona, it's dangerous here. You shouldn't come out. Why does it look like it's bleeding? What's with that voice it got? That.
What's that giant demon beast? Uh, do you girls recognize this? Not that it's any of your business, but yes, it's one of Sagato's monsters. Monsters? So that's one of Silver's monsters. It's coming this way, we better run. I'm afraid that we won't have time to. Blast. And here I am, not in my soul, like rare earth. Salus. Windham. You shall not advance the advance uh, a step further now that we have got a rune god that uh, you're toast what are those uh, where are those the giant machines come from don't worry we have taken down the golem are any of you hurt we're okay but what's the deal with these machines you're using again none of your business uh, you're welcome by the way but come what are those uh, what are those robots similar models in red blue and green the models that i have never heard of when i have thoroughly researched the robots in all the worlds the regions and history those aren't so whole nights right so whole night still whole night no these are rune gods rune gods uh, but they look so mechanical then again it can't be purely mechanical since I do sense and magic from them. A servo doesn't employ still still whole night. Plus I checked uh, therefore by pre process of elimination these have to be robots. But um, Ernie, I think we have got other problems right now. What in? Why did that boy get so giddy all of a sudden? There's no stopping Ernie once uh, he gets like this. This is quite a far cry right, from the initial impression he gave. Uh, where are my manners? Pardon me for getting carried away. First, allow me to thank you all for protecting us. I assure that you that I will find some way to repay this. Wait, something else is coming. More golems. They appear to be coming after us. Uh, get, get away from here, you guys. Uh, we are going to fight. Ernie. Yes, Eddie, I hear you. Let's get our own preparation in the way. Hold on, girls. We'll be right back, okay? They said they would be right back. What do you think they mean? Just in Northern, we've got other problems to deal with. Right, let's do this. Umi, foo. But right now, it's just one thing after another. Of all the places for Golem to show up, from what I have observed this so far, I was amazed uh, that someone is commanding them. Let's keep a close eye on our surroundings as we fight. It doesn't matter who we fight, we won't lose, we're magic knights. Oh, at least only four golems, okay? You got only something is coming. More golems? Not just golems, I'm also seeing what looked like armor knight. What are those? I'm gonna go with the safe bet that and say they are not friendly to us or whatever they are. Wait, something else is approaching. More of these things? Seriously? The Order of the Silver Phoenix has arrived. We made it, we're joining the fight. That voice, uh, are, th are you the group from before? What are those machines? I mean the Flying Knight and the uh, Sanctuary Knight. Sorry for the late arrival, these are our Steel Hole Knights. Steel Hole Knights. Oh, I'd love to tell you all about them, but I am, I'm afraid that we are a bit too pressed for the time at the moment. Hey, are those... aren't those... Yes, are those are... Salaudek uh, Soho Knight. What are they doing? Working with monsters? I think we can safely conclude from this that Salaudek has joined forces with someone from Silverall. 
But we can puzzle over that more later. For now, let's deal with what's prison. Yeah, we they already saved us. Now it's our turn to save them. Who? You? Who me? Yes, I know. Yeah, this calls for a team up, but we will sort the rest out later. Understood. We'll just dispatch these things first. And those parking some are some little pests that brought some other company this time. Alcyon, Alcyon, you are here to get in our way again? You are the ones in masters that got those ways. How many times do we have to go through this dunk and stance before you finally admit defeat, you hag? You are facing unfamiliar folks, uh, foes this time. We can't be too careful. Master Sagato loaned me some extra help to kill you a lot. Ah, oh, and uh, that's who's in the league with Sahal deck. Sahal I mean, uh, deck. And that all the Sahal knights are there. You all must be permanent fillers. They were Phoenix knights. If you are eating the, the magic, magic knights, then uh, you and the girls are all dead meat. Oh, she is out for blood. Fine with me. We'll take her head on and trails her. Agreed, no offense to her, but the sooner we wrap this up, the better. After all, I have much more present business than studying those a room god. Eleven. No balls around here, okay? Uh, we should be okay just being out there, I guess. Follow that, I can pick some real strange folk to join up with. They really are clutching at any time they can to throw us into this territory. But Solidex are our enemy regardless, so let's get them. You're absolutely right. We should weaken the enemy's numbers to put them in their main forces. So these are serving monsters, I don't think we're in much danger, but they're all big and creepy. They've got a whole different kind of feeling from what demon beasts to give off. They don't move all that fast, but their raw power is something to be worried of. And more to the point, uh, we don't know what they are, it's this exercise or deal caution when attack. Got it Ernie. It doesn't matter who or what we fight, uh, uh, then dog will cure it any fold. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ouch.
You're gonna make A's? finish you off just yet. Alright, you haven't seen the last of me, Magic Knight. Great, we won. No signs of enemies in the immediate area. Looks like things have finally settled down. You girls are amazing. You fought off all those crazy demon beasts. Likewise, your gallant and dashing fighting left me most impressed. We figured that you were, you were on the same side as whoever brought those golems. And uh, we mistook you guys for more of those the giant armored knights. Sorry for rushing out at you all before, you deserve an apology for that. And I'm sorry for freaking out and trying to water dragon you. What we, what would you say or say to this mountain and uh, conversing face to face? Good idea, now we can have a real conversation. So you were all summoned from another world to be magic knight. Yes, that's right. We are originally middle schoolers who are from a world called Earth. Another world, Earth. Uh, but I, from what I am hearing, a different Earth from my own. And uh, here we are out here doing our part so we can go back home again. Which is why you are tracking down Sakato, the guy who kidnapped uh, Sephiroth's princess. And uh, this little puffball named uh, Mokuna is serving as your guide. So you guys are from a country named Fumivilla, opposed to the kingdom of Salau that... It sounds like there are many more nations around the Civil World. You are the Order of the Silver Phoenix there, and Ernie is your Knight Commander. Where those black Soho Knights here from... Uh, this is the Salau that place. Wars have broken out in every land, and this has truly driven that back to home for me. It's like Cliff said, I guess, that wars are threatening the whole world and not just several. 
I'm just glad you guys aren't enemies, Ernie. I couldn't agree more. We would have been playing right into the enemy's hands if we were stayed embroiled in that meaningless fight. We have been tracking sellout activities and that led us straight here. Sorry for doubting you at first. We apologize just the same. We mistook you for agents of High Priest Dakato. Then I have a proposal to make. We are listening. It appears Lao Salao Dak is conspiring uh, together with these different high priest named Sagato. In each case, in which case, it will only make sense for us to form a unified front to face them. Sure, I mean, we'll fight together. I know it was our suggestion, but aren't you jumping on board a little quick there? It's okay. After that last fight, I know you aren't bad guys. When two parties of interests are in alignment, mutual cooperation makes perfect sense. And uh, when the other party is as trustworthy as the group is, uh, that makes it even better. You got to Umi Fu. Then we have an agreement. I look forward to working with you all. Isn't it nice to make more friends, Ernie? Eddie. You don't have to hug me to get your point across. I can see your grip's pretty tight. If this is about them, um, just ignore it, please. Well, I guess this is it for now. If you ever need help from us, we've got your back, okay? Likewise, we'll do all in our power to assist you if any need. Then let's do all. Uh, let's all do all our best. Er er Ernie, Eddie, kid. Yeah, don't get yourself hurt, okay? Right back at you. Let's talk again sometime, Mokuna. The order of the Silver Phoenix. Uh, we will see them again, right? And that's basically how we came to work together, after a few minor bumps along the way. Dang, I wouldn't have guessed that that's how you guys met. And then there's the Rune God, so surely it must have been fate for us to meet the Magic Knight. Rune God to run on mental energy, what truly legendary beings they are. They will never know defeat so long as the pilot's heart remains unbroken. And you three are capable of mastering them. You all possess an incredible gift. Accepted by the rune gods themselves and empowered by them. What can you call that if not epic? What fate awaits these girls coming into another world? Uh, I sense the makings of the pale equal part that heroic and beautiful. Settle down there, journey. Oh dear. Look at me getting carried away again. It's nice of you to compliment uh, Ray Earth and the other Rune God, but we think you're pretty amazing yourself, Ernie. Yes, when I see Igaruga, it's always a reminder of the genius that revolutionized the uh, traditional Soul Hole Knight, Soul Hole Knight construction the way you did. You really appreciate how great the Igaruga is? Let's stop this line of discussion right there. If I let you guys get started on that, it will be eyes before we could ever serve it. Still, I'm just glad that we were not on opposing sides after all. You guys put up a serious fight. Well, I would have taken that fight no problem if I would be serious. Oh, is that a fact? You want to try me? I'm always down Ikaru Fu up front. Okay, let's get in the group uh, workout before the tea party. My, my, you two certainly have energy to burn. Sure, we can play along. Are you in, Ernie? Absolutely. It, it's a prime opportunity to study silver and magic up close. Whoa, Ernie, you're fired up. Come on, Makona. Join us, it'll be a fun. Sometimes fighting is a sign of friendship in, in that case. Maybe the fighting is the, the reason that friendship is so tight. Alright. Yeah, we have plenty of stuff to do. Still. Alright, let's do some upgrade.
Upgrade. Uh, Ikaluga. I do want to work on side pasture though. How about I'll give you the sprite cheer and I'll give you the dynamo meter. Okay, yeah, so two missions here, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.